Hi, my name is David, and I try to play guitar. I'm not very good, as you can tell. One day, I saw a video of blues great Joe Bonamassa getting very technical about his guitar amplifiers. For guitar player, that guy really knows his stuff about amps. He inspired me to learn more. But to really understand guitar amps, you need to take them apart and put them back together. I watched hundreds of videos. I read all kinds of books. From Craigslist and eBay, I bought a used soldering iron, some old voltmeters, an ancient oscilloscope, and other test gear. Eventually, I built an entire electronics lab. Now, I guess I'm sort of an amp mechanic. I fix other electronics too, and this, well, this is my journey. I figured I'd share so others can learn too. I hope you like it, and just as a disclaimer, be sure to consult an expert before working with electricity. Hey, Dave the Amp Mechanic, coming to you from my amp lab in Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, if you look around behind me in the labs in some of my videos, you'll notice that sometimes you'll see various Fender paraphernalia from their 60th anniversary. I like to collect that stuff. Uh, I have the lunchbox with thermos. I have some guitar straps. I have guitar picks. Um, I always got my eye out for little collectible items. It's just one of the things I like to collect. Uh, beer mugs, I have those too, um, the glass beer mugs. And uh, so I keep my eye out uh, on the various marketplaces for when those things come up for sale for low money. And uh, the semi uh, tractor trailer, toy tractor trailer, 60th anniversary tractor trailer came up for sale. And so I jumped on it because it was uh, available at a very low price on eBay. And uh, I just thought I'd do a little unboxing video and share it with you because I'm kind of excited to add it to my little collection of 60th anniversary stuff. Now, they also put out 50th anniversary stuff where they had it out. Um, the 60th anniversary was in 2006, which means the 75th anniversary is probably coming up in 2021, and they'll probably have a whole bunch of stuff for that. There are a lot of uh, guitars out there that commemorate these anniversaries. You have to be careful, though, because sometimes they kind of uh, play it out a little bit too much. For example, they've been selling 2006 anniversary stuff every year since 2006, and it's not the real stuff that came out in 2006 that has like all of the case candy and the paperwork with it, has the little diamond plates on the on the you know on the back of the neck and things like that. So you gotta keep an eye out if you're buying some of that stuff, especially guitars. But the little stuff like the guitar picks and the guitar straps, the beer mugs, that stuff, now nah, you can't really go wrong with that. And uh, so I've got here again is the tractor trailer, the toy tractor trailer, and I thought I'd just do a little unboxing video for you. So let's cut this thing open and see what we got here. Oops. Nice, nice packing job. Ooh, look at the box. The box is in nearly perfect condition. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna move this in and hopefully autofocus will grab that. And if it doesn't, then what I'll do is I'll take a picture of it after and cut that into the video. Let's, let's uh, throw that out. Okay, and uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, by the way, the diamond I was talking to you about is right there, the 60th anniversary diamond. Uh, and you can see it says 1946 to 2006. And uh, there's a picture of the truck on the side of the box. Let's, let's open this baby up. It's pretty heavy. All right. It's in some uh, plastic. This is uh, kind of nearly in perfect condition. They even have, um, oh, uh, they've got mirrors, like the side the side view mirrors are separate and you have to attach them after. This thing is in brand spanking new condition. Now when I looked this up online and I saw it, it said that the box might have some damage to it, but I don't see any damage at all on this. Wow, look at that, huh? How about that? Little fender truck. All right. And uh, I don't know if the picks will be in here or not, but let's see. So the guy may have taken them out. Here, just show you the trailer, by the way. Isn't that beautiful? Turn it around. Look at the top. I mean, there's no fingerprints on this or anything. No, there's just my fingerprints. The spirit of rock and roll. There's the, the Fender Diamond again. Wow, man, this thing is in awesome condition. All right, let's see. Did the seller empty the contents? Yeah, he did. The picks aren't in there. All right, that's all right. That's no big deal. I wasn't really buying it for the picks, and the price was right. Oh, on the bottom, there you go. There's a little, uh, it tells you that it's 
number 881 of 2,500. So only 2,500 of these were made, making it a somewhat collectible item. Now, I don't collect it for that reason, like, you know, oh boy, I'm going to have one out of some number and I've got one of those and nobody else does. I just get it. Be, I, I'm just getting it because it's kind of fun to have these things. I don't like to collect a lot of things. Like, you know, some people have dozens of little tiny trinkets and stuff around their house. But the Fender 60th anniversary stuff, the 50th anniversary stuff, and probably the 75th when it comes up in 2021, that, that stuff's kind of, kind of cool. Here are the little side view mirrors that you can attach to the cab. And uh, clearly um, that goes kind of right there like that. There we go. So there you have it, the Fender 60th Anniversary Spirit of Rock and Roll tractor trailer, toy tractor trailer truck. And uh, I'll put that with my other stuff that I'm collecting, my beer mugs and my guitar picks and whatnot. So that's it, quick unboxing video of a toy. Unfortunately, not like a toy guitar, like, you know, one of the toys that guitar players get, but nevertheless, still a great little collectible item. Okay, that's it from the Amp Lab here in Boston, Massachusetts. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.